Have you ever used the words UWC, LYK, GN, HWFAR, TENK, in capital letter U, to mention but a few before in a sentence, either in writing, in real life situation, or on social media? In this video, I will be teaching you how the use of inappropriate short forms on social media affect your personality. See you after the break. Hi, my name is Udwake Tim Samuel. And in today's video, I am going to teach you how the use of inappropriate short forms on social media affect your personality. Let me start by telling you a story. Now this is the story of a very good friend of mine. She said that when she was in her final year in the university, she was being asked to submit a project topic. According to her, she had submitted three project topics. But she didn't know why her supervisor decided to approve the project topic Use of Social Media in Students Learning of English Language Among Public Secondary School Students in Oyo Municipality. This was a topic she didn't have passion for. She had only included this topic because it was mandatory to submit three project topics. It was in the course of writing that she discovered that God had really wanted to use her to change people's lives and mindset. No wonder in her department or faculty, no one had written on this project topic before. From the research of her findings, she had concluded that the use of inappropriate short forms on social media affects students' learning in writing of the English language. And this is how. Number one is inappropriate short forms. Originally, short forms in English language are supposed to be the standard contracted forms of words. Example, I will, you will, they would, they are, you are, I am, to mention but a few. Now if you take a look at this word, you would not see words like LYK, GM, HW, UWC, TENK, and the most common one that people use, BLB. So why then do people continue to use this in appropriate short forms in English? From my personal research findings, I have come to realize that the core reason why people use in appropriate short forms in writing is because of time and laziness. Yes, time and laziness. This is ironical though. The people who succeeded in using this in appropriate short forms in English do so because, according to them, they're trying to save time. This is because in Nigeria we have plenty of Russians that are rushing to nowhere. Proof of the matter is, the people who use this in appropriate short forms in English do so because they're lazy and nothing else. They just cannot be patient enough to type words in full. It is social media, that's what they say. Why must they stop using inappropriate short forms in writing? Personality. Personality. Everything is centered around the word personality. Ever heard that there is no second chance to a first impression? Now, what is personality? Personality is an assumed role or a manner of behavior. It is the way you package and present yourself that other people
people are going to perceive you. Now take it from me, social media is like a house that we're living in on earth. If you've ever lived in I face you, face my face you before, or you know someone who has lived in such a place before, they will be able to relate. In a face me, I face you, your neighbors are like monitoring spirits. They know when you're happy or when you're sad. They know when you go outside and when you come inside. They even keep account of your food menu. Now, narrow this down to a mini estate, social media. Social media houses so many personalities. If I am correct, you will agree with me that more than 60% of your Facebook friends are people that you barely know, right? Now, how do you address the people that you barely know? Is it formally or informally? When you address them informally using this in alphabet short forms in writing, this is how they're going to perceive you. See you after the short break. Ignite the little anger the people have in them. 
That is why you would notice in Nigeria, we first apologize to someone before having to say anything. For example, sorry, please, what is the time? Well, actually, that is because you do not know the person's state of mind as at the moment that you were interacting with him or her. So now I've shown you how the use of inappropriate short forms in writing, either in real life or on social media, affect your personality. The disadvantages of these inappropriate short forms are more than the advantages that if there's any. Using these inappropriate short forms in writing doesn't in any way save your data. So why do you continue to use it? If you are undisposed to attend to chat at the moment, replying them using these inappropriate short forms isn't a better option either. So today, you must cultivate the habit of stopping and not using inappropriate short forms in writing. It can be uneasy, but with time and conscious practice, it will be a thing of the past. In our next video, we will be taking how to use question talks. Meanwhile, if you like this video, click the subscribe button for more videos. Thank you and until next time, bye-bye.